It is currently the ass crack of dawn. Why am I up? That's a really good question. My friend asked me about a week ago if I wanted to go and get my resting metabolic heart rate, my RMR, no, not my heart rate, my resting metabolic rate tested. And what is the resting metabolic rate? I don't really know. <laughs> It's so funny because yesterday she texted me and she was like, make sure you don't exercise before the thing. What does that even mean? I didn't even know time existed before 11 a.m. until today. Like, I thought the world closed between the hours of 4 a.m. to 11. Why, why would anybody be up right now? That's so crazy. <laughs> She's a morning person. I am not, but I can't really complain because this is this is something that my friend thoughtfully set up for me, so. Also, she said that I had to wear shorts, but I don't wear shorts because I don't like to show my legs. <laughs> well, I do have these, but she said she wants loose fitting shorts. I don't have loose fitting shorts. Closest loose fitting shorts I have are these. I tied plastic <laughs> string to it yesterday because these pants are so old. These are at least 20 years old. My grandpa used to own these and when I was 16, for whatever reason, my grandpa gave me these pants of his. And then so I had it all throughout my teenage years into my 20s and right before I moved to the States from Japan, I don't know, they somehow ended up back with my grandpa. <laughs> really old pants. They just, as soon as you wear them, they just fall down. They might as well just be on status off because they're not on most of the time unless you have these, these really Really cool strings on. My husband was gonna toss them and I was like, well, I can't now, these are sentimental pants. My grandpa owned them, then I owned them, and then my grandpa owned them again, and then you owned them, and then I owned them. Like, this is pretty much a family heirloom at this point. Like, my kids are gonna inherit these. I know when she says shorts, she's talking about one of those, you know, like short athletic shorts that come up to here where you can see everything from the this part down. I don't have that kind of confidence in me. To stop by the convenience store because I need to get some ice packs for my lunch. Otherwise, they're, they're gonna go bad in this Okinawan humid heat. So I got a party ice pail, even though I don't I don't feel like partying this early in the morning, but it is kind of making me more excited. Ooh! Man, I wish I could at least have coffee. She told me I can't have anything but water. I woke up at 11 yesterday and I haven't slept yet because I don't typically wake up till 11, so I was worried that I wouldn't be able to sleep. Hopefully, like, my test results aren't super needing for me to have been well rested because I am clearly not. I really don't have time to be doing this right now. I should, I should like go. <laughs> I'm gonna be late. I'm eyeing this bar right now. I'm kind of hungry. I'm waiting for my friend right now to kind of escort me and show me where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I don't know how long the test is gonna be. I actually don't even know what it entails. She did say I might have to take off my shirt, but she also said that it only if I'm comfortable to do so, which I mean, I don't care. <laughs> <sighs> well, she's not here yet. I don't know where she's at, but I don't read. Will I wait? I'm reading this book right now called The Unfair Advantage, so I'll just, uh, I'll just read that while I'm waiting. This is gonna be your body fat percentage. Barefoot, yeah. Body fat percentage, your lean mass, your skeletal mass. This will just be like a good like baseline. And then hold still, don't talk, don't, I was gonna say don't breathe. <laughs> Sorry. Are you gonna adjust your macros after this? Uh, after the RMR, yeah. So, Kate, explain to me what this is. What am I doing here? So, resting metabolic rate. This is going to test... So, <laughs> if you were to just wake up and lay in bed all day long, you're still gonna burn a certain number of calories because of your organ function, your brain function, your breathing, things like that. 
So what this does is this will calculate how many calories you burn at rest. And why is that important? So it's important because that's basically your baseline. So you should never eat below your resting metabolic rate. And you can use that number to determine how many more calories you need. Because what they do is they take your RMR and they multiply it by a certain number, which is your activity level. And they go, it's like this whole formula that they go through and you can just, you can do this all online as well. But they go through a formula to determine how many calories you should eat to lose weight, maintain weight, or to gain weight. Is this just like your genetic base or does it change with how active you become and stuff? RMR does change, so it's recommended to do this every three to six months because it changes with activity level, it changes with your diet, it, it changes with your metabolism. Um, but it is a good indicator of where, where your metabolism is at because it'll also tell you if your metabolism is on the slower end or on the faster end. and if it's on the slower end and you want to improve it, you can check it again in three months to see if it is improving. How do you improve stuff like this? You improve your metabolism by exercise, getting enough sleep, um, making sure you're eating within that certain calorie range because if you overeat, you could also screw up your metabolism and it also depends on what you eat as well. We've been friends for a minute. Uh, should I tell, can I tell them about your channel? Yeah. Okay, she has a YouTube channel she just started, by the way. Uh, she used to be a personal trainer. I still am. Well, cool. she, not like working yeah. as one, but she is like an actual personal trainer who kind of took a hiatus and she's getting back into it. But she she has, she's really smart, so <laughs> check her out. <laughs> Thank you. Kate's gonna go first. All right, so this comes with like a nose clip. So oh, this shit. goes over the nose to so make sure you're not breathing through the nose. Because you want to just breathe through the mouth. That's oh, a good thing I'm a mouth breather then. And then this is just a long tube. Plug in it here. Once I put it over my <laughs> mouth, I'm just going to breathe normally. I'm not going to force my breath and I'm not going to take shallow breaths. I'm just going to breathe as normal as I can. I'm going to lay back. I'm going to rest. It's going to take about 15 minutes. I'm going to be sitting here. So I'm just going to just sit here and breathe through this too. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Prime. You can't get these off base. Oh, I can't drink this yet, huh? She's shaking her head no. Gotta support the low king. I have the concentrated version of these that you like dilute in water and that thing tastes like crap. <laughs> so I'm really interested to see what a non-diluted version or non-concentrated version tastes like. Have you tried these? Do you like them? I tried the purple one, I think. And uh, yeah. They're pretty good. Sorry. Right. Give it a shot. metabolic rate test for you. Uh, the way this is going to work is you're going to take this end here, you'll plug it into the machine here, you can extend this tube all the way out, try not to pull on the perfect piece, if you do it'll pop off. If it does, just plug it back in. Mm -hmm. Send that all the way out. <laughs> and again, like I said, you it'll me. always pop right back in. You warned me. It's back, chill. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, the chair is, that's my, that's my relaxed chair. <laughs> but it gives you that sharp shock of surprise. <laughs> Super uncomfortable. Are you breathing? <laughs> Sorry, I know you can't talk. Oh my god. There was a moment where I was like having a like almost having a panic attack. I was like, I can't breathe. Same it's thing. so uncomfortable. Oh at one point my saliva was like pooling and then it was like sliding down my throat, so it was getting itchy and I was like, oh. Yeah, I was like, I'm choking right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm about to die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't swallow. I'm gonna die with this thing on my face. <laughs> first things first, how old are you, ma'am? 35. How tall are you? Five foot one. What are you weighing in at right now? When I did the in body, it's a 171. Okay. And where would you like to be at? I would like to be um, around 65 kilos. So that's, whoa, what is that? Where are you trying to be? I'm trying to be 130. I'll do 135. Okay. Thank you. It's 440, and then we got 1411. All right, Kit, so let's take a look at your RMR. I'll tell you how exactly how this is working here. So first things first, let's look at your numbers. When we talk exercise, we just talk literally just walking for 30 minutes. Okay. This is how many calories you will burn. Now, lifestyle and activity, this is going to be you walking up and down some stairs to and from your car, doing your grocery shopping, and all that fun stuff there. This is how much calories you're burning. Now, if on Saturday you were lucky enough to wake up and not have to do anything all day and just lay in bed, this is how many calories you're burning. So this is going to be a grand total of about 1980 in calories, and 
as you can see here, your metabolism is slow by just a little bit, by about 7%. With that in mind, typically there's a weight loss range that we like to eat in here, and yours, you'll notice it says go um, 1129 to 1411. These numbers here are a little bit lower than what we recommend for ladies at 1500 calories at least. Okay. So what we did was we're gonna go with what your goals are. Okay. So because you're trying to get down to 135 pounds, mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is we're gonna first adjust your protein to where you're trying to get at least 135 grams of protein in day. Uh, okay. Right? This number here is going to be the end all be all, come hell or high water, you have to hit this number. Now the way this is gonna work is, the very first two weeks, instead of trying to jump into eating 135 grams of protein, all I want you to do is you're just going to have two protein snacks every day. So set a timer on your phone for protein snack in the morning, protein snack in the afternoon, or afternoon and evening, whatever works best for you. Once your body has gotten used to taking in that particular protein, from there what you're going to do is on the third week, you're going to adjust your next, your first meal of the day. So if it's breakfast, then you'll adjust your breakfast to where it has at least 23 to 27 grams of protein. Okay. On the fourth week, your second meal of the day gets adjusted. So now you have two protein snacks and then your breakfast and your lunch is adjusted to 23 to 27 grams of protein. Okay. After that, on that fifth week, you're gonna do the same thing for your last meal of the day. So if it's dinner, that means dinner, breakfast, and lunch all have 23 grams, 27 grams of protein plus your two protein snacks. The goal is by the end of the five weeks to be hitting at least five to six times a day, getting 23 to 27 grams of protein. Okay. If you can do that, that's going to put your body into what we like to call the lean mass building state, where everything you do, your body goes, I think she's working out. You walk up some stairs, the protein is in your system. Your body goes, hey, break that protein down. I think she's doing lunges, send it to the legs, that type of deal. Okay. Now, from there, we have other calories or other other uh, other macros that you need to be aware of. So for carbs, we need to make sure you're having energy because you're working out in an hour and a half a day. So 225 grams of carbs is what you're gonna get in total daily. Aim for this number. And then, so this, what I like to say is this is a general, general thing here. So at least 38 grams when every time you eat, no more than 45. Okay. And then same for fats. At least you're trying to get to 48 grams of fats daily. Mm -hmm. So at least eight grams of fat. <coughs> yeah, you're okay eight grams of fat or no more than 10 grams each and every time you eat. Okay. So these numbers here, I just want you to be aware of. But this number, this total number right here, this is a thing that's come hell or high water. So that means at 9.30 when your protein alarm goes off, please make sure you get that 23 to 27 grams of protein. Okay. If you can do that, and you're working out an hour and a half a day. Now this says it takes anywhere from 22 to 26 weeks, but once you've gotten your body into its lean mass building state where everything works so much better and you've got that lean mass in there, your metabolism, metabolism will shoot up. So I would recommend that six weeks uh, from today, you come back and see me once your body has acclimated to all the protein that you're getting in. And then these numbers should change quite uh, very drastically. Okay. Yeah. All right, ma'am. So we have to get to these parts here. Do you have a sports bra? On yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can take this off. Okay. All right. So this is going to be a process. This is going. We're going by the averages. So I'm going to use. I'm going to do two pinch tests. If I mess up a little bit, and I might pinch again. So uh, one. This is a pinch test. So don't punch me in the face when I pinch you. Two. Um, just remember to relax and breathe. All right. So very first things, I'm gonna have you take your right hand. You're gonna put it out behind your back here, and then you'll use this hand to move this down just a tiny bit for me. Yes, ma'am. Take a big breath in and breathe out for me. Breathe, 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 breathe. Perfect. All right. I'm going to have you take your hand, put it on top of your head, palm up. Same thing. I'm going to have to bring this down just a tiny bit. So take a big breath in and breathe out for me. Breathe, 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 breathe. Thank you very much. Take in a big, big breath. And exhale and breathe out. As you breathe out, relax your arm. Relax, relax, relax. Sweet. There you go. Thank you very much. Deep breath in. If you can, move this down just a tiny bit for me. Got to get to the bottom of this corner. So big breath in. And breathe out. Thank you. Hold tight here. And this time when you breathe out, try to get all the air completely out of your stomach. And exhale, exhale, exhale. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And big breath out. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep going. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Oh, perfect. Last one, big one. Keep the weight off of this leg here. Excuse me a minute. Big breath in and big breath out. Perfect. 
Okay, so as you look into this and you do the math for it, right? So it's gonna say you're 173 pounds. You're still sitting in the fair category at 173.2 with 26% body fat. That means you're fair. So these numbers here, you go to break that down. 173, pull out the body fat, which is about 45 pounds. That means your lean weight is 127. 70% of that's gonna be water weight, so that's 95.1. Okay. Um, and if you were to break that down by bloods, bones, and gut stuff like that, 32.7 is what that's gonna be there. So then in here, what it's gonna say is the body composition describes your weight in terms of water and protein, mineral, and fat weight. Would it measure you at 26.6, that 45 pounds of fat, 75% of your lean mass is the water, which is 90%. So it is an important component of the body composition. Too much body fat leads to health problems. So since you're in the fair category, this is gonna be good, but it's gonna say, show this report to a health professional and discuss his health history and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then try to lose a little bit of weight. But you already have goals. You're already aware of what those goals are. So now the fun part is just to get you to where those goals are. Awesome, like thank you. So, uh, We're about the same. I think so. I thought my body fat was gonna be a lot more than that. I, I mean, it it's composition, right? So it's like you know like i for my lean mass to body fat percentage right your lean mass body fat percentage it could be the same but it could also be like we just have different body composition type of thing doesn't mean we have the same body or percentages but yeah we're very similar same height same metabolism this is going to recommend that you drop in at least anywhere from about 40 pounds like that and this is again this is for health reasons here. So because you have a lot of visceral fat. So this number wants to be, you want to pull this under 180. And obviously you're here because that's the goal, right? right, right. Is to get healthier and stuff like that. So, so is this asking me to lose at least 40 pounds? Yes. This okay. is saying in order for you to be healthy and not have to worry about hearts, heart attacks, cardiac, uh, cardiac arrest, strokes, and things like that, they're gonna wanna pull that number under. And again, you already have a goal of actually literally losing that anyway. And this is just for, um, athletic reasons because you're getting ready to do a marathon and everything like that so that's that's actually a pretty good number to aim for so even losing just half of this though will already pull this down right. so right now the goal is lose half of it and then see how you feel and then lose the rest if you okay, need to okay. type deal. and again you have to remember your composition is going to change based off of that this is what five pounds of muscle looks like this is what five pounds of fat looks like so it could be that you might still weigh the same mm -hmm. but take up less space right. type of deal. Got it. And that's how that's going to go there. And yeah, that's how you read that chart there. Thank you so and much. That was really helpful. I am parked in front of the ocean. I'm about to eat because I'm freaking hungry. I'm also starting to get really sleepy. <laughs> the no sleep is catching up to me pretty hard. I am just filled with so much gratitude right now because, I mean, I've been winging it for the last month or so. But it is really, really nice to be able to have concrete numbers. I mean, I've been doing fine on my own, even with the winging it. Like, I've, I've went from, I don't know, like 85 or 83 kilos down to 70, I think 78 kilos. But I feel like my progress is going to improve, especially now that I have the concrete numbers. Thank you to Kate so much <laughs> for setting this up. I'll be sure to link her channel down in the comments. Uh, description below so if you guys are interested she's going on a similar journey to me she's a personal trainer who gained weight and she's trying to lose it so she has a different angle than me she wasn't a fatty chunky McRoley like me she was very fit then life happened and then she gained weight and then now she's going back to um, trying to lose weight and get back into being active and healthy so she has a really interesting journey if you're interested go ahead and check out her channel again link in the bottom Lee was amazing I am so grateful for him he was just an absolute doll he explained everything thoroughly to me it was so nice to be able to have his expertise very encouraging I mean he was just he was just top-notch I overheard him and Kate talking about a Olympic weight business that he's starting so once I get that information from Kate I'll also put that in the description below for anybody who's in and around the Okinawa area which I feel like is gonna be a very minimal amount of people watching Watching this video but if you if you are happen to be I'll leave that link and you can check him out he didn't even ask me to do it I just want to do it because he's just awesome but as far as moi I was actually pretty surprised my metabolism isn't as bad as I thought it would be obviously it's slightly below normal so it's a little low but like you know doable I thought it was gonna be uh, slow 
I thought it was gonna be like I was losing like five calories because it feels like it sometimes but like they said I could bump it up with exercise and eating healthy oh 77 kilos I went from like 85 to 80 83 to 85 down to 77 kilos on my own for the last in the last month so that's pretty good but my goal weight is like 61 kilos 134 pounds it's just a loose goal I'm not really trying to hit that number I just my goal is just to be healthy right and then like the macro thing was the most helpful uh, really really helpful this thing was amazing it's slightly off of the numbers that I'm going off now which is great because the, the one that I'm doing right now I feel like doesn't have enough carbs I feel like I'm getting a lot of fat not enough carbs so I'm really glad because I love my potatoes and white rice. I'm not trying to ax carbs out of my diet. I freaking love carbs. Anyways, I am going to eat and then I'm going to go home and then I'm going to sleep because I haven't slept since. Am I saying that right? Oh, holy shit. I forgot about the prime. I can actually drink these now. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. I'm going to try the lime one. Lemon lime. I want to try the lemon lime prime. They don't sell these in Japan. I have to, I have to get it from the military base. Let's try this. Oh, oh, that really punches you in the throat, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> Holy crap, it's so acidic. I feel like I'm shitting on it. The flavor's not bad, but there is like a punch of acidity in the back of my throat. That one's not bad. It's very like sugary though. I know it doesn't have any sugar in it, but it's very sweet. And, and I, could, I could probably dilute that actually. If I diluted it, I think I would like it better. It's just really strong right now. Let's try it. This one is the blue raspberry. The Japanese pokari sweat better, like flavor wise, like the Aquarius and pokari sweat. I mean, it honestly just tastes like a Gatorade. It's uh, not my favorite, but it's not bad. I definitely like between the two, I definitely like the lemon lime better. It's pretty impressive for uh, for an influencer created product. Thanks for tuning in and uh, getting my measurements with me. Hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you guys in the next video.